Scale SQL and PL SQL group. Today we are going to discuss about metric systems, interview questions and answers of Oracle SQL and PL SQL. So metric systems is a very good company friends. So recently I have attended interview for metric systems and even one of my friend also attended the interview on very next day for the same company. So here I have listed out all those questions. So let us get started discussing about all the metric systems, interview questions and answers. So there were totally two level interviews. So first round and second round. So today we will discuss about what are the interview questions asked in first round of interview. So here the first question is tell me about yourself roles and responsibilities in your project and explain about your project is the first question so when they ask about your project roles and responsibilities you have to explain like so my project name is so and so and my responsibilities are like say for example i am going to tell you what are the responsibilities i am doing in my current project uh, in the same way only i have explained in interview also so my day to day responsibilities are like uh, involving in all the HDLC phases that means all the software development life cycle phases starting from gathering the requirements from business until unless the project goes to production so I will involve in each and every life cycle phase so first I get some BRD document from the business team once I receive the BRD document, I will do some analysis on that and then I will create a specification document along with uh, some sort of technical code. So based on this specification and technical document, I start development in the code. Once the development is completed, I do some unit testing and after that, the unit testing is completed, the code will be deployed into the servers before the completion of integration testing that means once the unit testing is completed by the developer it will go to integration testing so once the integration testing is completed then the uh, code will be deployed into servers once the code is deployed and then the project will go to production after production we will have QAT that is quality assurance team so what they will do is like they will just uh, check the post production issues so that means after production if there is any issues or changes in the project then they will do those changes into the production so this is how the life cycle phases will go on in each and every project here the main responsibilities as a PLSQL developer is that creating a procedures packages functions and also modifying the procedures and already existing functions based on the requirement so based on the business requirement we do some changes to the already existing procedures and functions and as well as we do create separate procedures function and packages and as well as we do uh, some writing cursors and as well as we also involve in creating triggers as well as in exception handling concepts so this is what all about my roles and responsibilities in my current project. So friends, this is how you should explain about your project roles and responsibilities. So here the next question is, what are the new features in Oracle 11G? There are many new features provided in Oracle 11G. Example, uh, automatic memory tuning, SQL performance analyzer, automated storage load balancing, automatic diagnostic repository and also there is a new function called listage provided in Oracle 11G it was not there in 10G or 9I or earlier Oracle versions it is uh, implemented or uh, provided in Oracle 11G so and there are so many features like index invisibility and the other features are like you know uh, partitioning the tables likewise we have so many new features in Oracle 11G uh, I would like to have a 
separate video on discussing Oracle 11G features and now we will move on to discussing the interview questions here and the third question here is what is normalization so normalization is used to remove the redundancy in the database and mainly used to improve the efficiency of a database so which level of normalization are you using so here mainly we have four different type of normalization forms as you all know first normalization form third normalization form fourth and as well as totally four so when you talk about first normalization form it should have a unique column that means the column name should not be duplicate and when it goes to second normal form the second normal form should satisfy first normal form as well as along with that and one more condition will come in normal third normalization form also it should satisfy both first normalization form and second normalization form when it comes to fourth normalization form it should satisfy all the first three normalization forms so here the next question is explain oracle architecture so here we have to give the overview of oracle architecture explain how sql query is processed in or how sql query is processed in oracle server how do you tune sql query so there are so many sql query tunings friends so if you want the query tuning techniques just comment your email id on comment section i will share you the sql query tuning pdf document to you so that you can learn the tuning of sql queries there are simple simple techniques uh, instead of using union you can go for union all and also instead of using star in a select statement you can specify the column names likewise we have so many things we will discuss it later so next question is what are the hints you use in your projects so if we have any hints you can explain to them probably and how to export only tables and not indexes from your schema how do you create all indexes as it is from other schema what is execute in sql processing what is fetch in sql processing how do you check the versions of database how do you find the size of a database for the, an application moving on to the next slide how do you model a database how to add two numbers without using plus or some functions i have a package and it does not give me completion error at run time it gives me error how do you know where the error occurs how to debug the error and the next question is how do you how do you know the performance of sql tuning and after that they have started asking few questions in unix friends so here the unix questions are like what is dollar in unix and what is the dollar star in unix how do you find 150 the line in a file how do you search a string in a file how do you increase the performance of a sql query when select disting is used friends we should not use disting when you use disting definitely the performance will be reduced so instead of using disting you can go for some other technique or some other function so next question is do you know collections and what are the reference cursor why it is used friends as you all know this is a very very important question uh, and also important concept in pl sql so reference cursor is dynamic friends whereas normal cursor is static that means in run time we can change the value of a reference cursor but not we can change the value of a normal cursor here the reference cursor can be passed from one sub program to another sub program whereas normal cursor cannot be passed to sub programs and also reference cursor can be directly sent to client whereas normal cursor cannot be sent to client and one more difference is like cursor is a context area or memory temporary memory area to store a details of select statement so here the reference cursor is like address of a cursor that means it's like a pointer it has the address of a normal cursor that means this is a variable it stores the address of a normal cursor data so next question is what is no copy and what is pipeline so friends these are the several questions they have asked in first round of interview for matrix systems so in my next video we will see the second round of interview questions that were asked in matrix systems company thank you
you for watching this video friends do subscribe for my channel for knowing the upcoming interview questions for different mnc commissioning thank you thank you for watching this video